Running is one of the most basic and natural forms of human movement, but how do runners know if they're doing it right? Australian athlete Jenny Blundell looks set for a bright future after making the semi-finals of the 1500 metre at the 2016 Olympics. But for the last three years she's been plagued by injuries and now she's relying on science to get her back on track. Here's national sport reporter David Mark. What an occasion. Jenny Blundell peaked before she even knew it at the 2016 Rio Olympics. The 1500 Jenny Blundell of Australia. Being able to compete in the semi-final is something that I'm very, very proud of. It's something that I've been dreaming of ever since I was about 10 years old. She's going to go ahead in leaps and bounds as well. But what should have been a launching pad into elite women's 1500 metre running was actually the beginning of years of injury and frustration. I would get into really good shape at training and then as soon as I would race, unfortunately my calves would tear or strain. She estimates she's had at least 15 separate calf injuries over the past three years. Now she's turning to science for answers. So what we've got is four um, small size force plates here. The New South Wales Institute of Sport biomechanist, Dr Aaron Beach, is part of a group working with Blundell. He uses motion capture technology to look for the flaws in her running technique that aren't visible to the naked eye. Here you're sort of extending through that middle part of the stance quite early and sort of standing up taller. Some of the things we'll look at is perhaps why that calf strain may be reoccurring with a technique, whether there's an imbalance to the left or the right side, provide that advice to the coach and see if we can modify a technique to reduce that risk. The aim is to get Blundell racing again and then to make the Australian team for the Tokyo Olympics. To make it this time, having had all of the team and the preparation and hard work go into overcoming each injury that I have gotten, will just mean the absolute world to me. And if she makes it, like all the Australian athletes looking for that fraction of a second advantage, science will have played a part. David Mark, ABC News. Back to the weather now, and we should make the most of these milder.